Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today is a very exciting day. Woo! We, a couple of weeks ago, we went halves and bought a bunch of camera gear. This thing, the Black, Mo Blah, Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, has been staring at me for about two weeks with <laughs> plastic wrapping because I told him I wouldn't open it until he was here. He resisted here. well. <laughs> so, we're going to crack into it, open it up, and see what's inside. Doom, doom, shh. seen inside you've got a little cool welcoming thing I'm not sure what it says yeah, hold on thank, the camera. thank you for selecting black magic design for your work yeah that's right this is work it's no longer play and you get your free copy of Da Vinci Resolve 15 you can't see that studio we go that side awesome studio oh, it comes with a battery as well Awesome. So we've got three batteries. We bought an extra... Oh, it's not here because it's charging. But we bought an extra two batteries as well. Because apparently it shoots through them in like 30 to 40 minutes. But it actually comes with one So as we're well, going to so. be well set up there. So we've got three batteries, which is cool. And then you also get... Battery charger? That's, uh, or no, this is a, uh, so you can plug the camera straight into the power. Oh yeah, so it's got all your different plugs for like a whole worldwide oh, set. Oh, awesome. So we can go international now. No, yeah. <laughs> we can take this thing to the States next year. Yes. Jeff visits Ooh. Australia. There she is. <sighs> Damn, hold it up. Just be careful it's not going to fall out of the box when I do this. Look at that. What's it made of? Is it like carbon fibre, right? It's carbon fibre. Like I watched a video where a guy was complaining it was plastic, but it's actually pretty he was wrong. Oh. One of the most satisfying things in the world. Yeah. Look at that. Damn. Look at that new camera oh, smell. New camera smell. <laughs> Jason's in heaven. Actually, <laughs> it's actually got a bit more weight to it than I thought yeah. it would. It's, it's way heftier than I thought it would be, actually. Um, massive screen. Check that thing out. Ba boom. I think that's half the reason, though, that it the, shoots through the battery so quickly. Yeah. Just because it's got that giant screen. Initial thoughts. Initial thoughts. Like, it feels real professional. Like, hmm. It feels real legit. And look, it's got microphone, headphone jack. He okay, headphone is something I'm really excited about because filming on these... DSLRs, you can't monitor your audio straight no. out of the DSLR. So that's going to not. Well, I suppose people can record straight into it. If you add a, yeah. If you add the cage, you can put your microphones on and you can actually monitor it. And it's HDMI. Got, this one's got a full HDMI output rather than the DSLR to have the mini HDMI. Because you does, just, does that affect quality at all, or is that I'm just. I'm not actually sure. Mm. It'd be interesting to see because the quality outputting from the DSLRs is pretty garbage. Mm. So I feel this will be much better. And then you got your USB, so you can record straight to a solid state drive. Awesome. Which, which we have, and which we will test out for you and see if it works. That's <laughs> going to be really handy. And then I think that's the power, and then that's another audio thing, the XLR audio, which is like next level audio, up, like next step up from three point five. Cool. And where did your um, battery? Your power go into yeah. straight at the bottom. You can also get, I think, battery packs that like sit in there, but then sit across the mm. outside. It's like bigger batteries, basically. I'm not sure what happens to the door at that point, but okay. So after what an <laughs> embarrassing amount of time to admit, we found where the SD cards go. There's so like a little slidey thing on the side. So this bit here, you go. This whole thing slides that way. And then it pops open. It's almost like so well designed that you don't even know. It's hidden. It just yeah. looks like, yeah. like we saw the hinge Part of the bit camera. There, it's part of the camera. Cool. So this is 25mm. Yep, we opened that one. 
Uh, what 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 do, what's its like ratio? Because it's so uh, three I think quarter micro. Uh, it's micro four thirds mm. is like the length type that it takes. Yeah, but it's got a one point nine crop in terms of the. So it's not full frame or anything. So roughly a twenty five mil. Uh, yeah, twenty five mil lens pretty much becomes a fifty mil, which is good. That's like a standard. Sort yeah, of the only problem is then the lower you go, like. You have less, so we've gone in eight mil, and that's about as low as you can get, right? Yeah. But that being said, you don't really. So that becomes sixteen mil, but you don't really need le- less True. than that. Because as soon yeah. as you go less than this, you start getting the fisheye GoPro look. And I think this is the only one. This is like the smallest you can get in this particular brand. Non GoPro. So that will look sixteen mil. mil. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, there, fisheye. Perfect. All right. Open up that bad boy. Some bubble wrap to play with later. <laughs> um, what brand is this? This is Panasonic. This is like a legit Lumix, I believe. Yeah, Lumix. Ooh, it's weighty for its size. Yeah, they're quite it's, small, eh? But it's still pretty. It's got a fair, like, hmm. little bit of mass to it. Imagine if this didn't fit and I bought the wrong lens. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Because we were originally yeah. going to get a Metabone Speed Ooh, Booster. And that looks the, nice. It's almost golden in there. I yeah. love the look of it. Give that a whirl. Yeah. Looks good. If you turn it around, show this camera. Be interesting to see what's going on there. Unpack that. Although. You won't get any sort of quality yeah. camera on You're only the camera. Starting to see the Canon quality. <laughs> That's quite clever. Yeah, hold it so you don't it make... It's like a little timer that says hold the format yeah. button for three seconds to format it. So you accidentally knock it and yeah. wipe everything. Don't make any mistakes. Thank you, Yeah. Black Mint. That's actually really handy. I like that. Formatting complete. Your card is now ready to use. You can record for 12 minutes. Damn. Um, because I, well, I'm not sure what format we've got it set to, but yeah, it's pretty high quality yeah. formats compared to these cameras, so cool. you know, fill up cards pretty quick. So exit, it's all pretty intuitive, like yeah, like the videos I watched before we bought this, when we were researching what camera to get, everyone said it's extremely intuitive. Every button, everything on the screen does exactly what it says it does. It's real easy to find stuff, and it just, just looks really cinematic. Yeah, yeah. sure does. And wow, Jason. You've never looked more cinematic in your life. <laughs> awesome. Is it like? yeah, oh, that actually does look. I know. And like, we haven't done anything. We haven't changed the ISO or anything. It's Just on. straight out of the box. It keeps stopping recording by itself. I'm not sure why. Perhaps our SD cards can't handle it. <laughs> I've got an SSD. Try. I'm just. Concerned that it might ask for the same thing to be formatted. Oh, yeah, no, RIP. No, I know you've got a lot of stuff on that, but mm. we can go get one, that's alright. Because cool. I was thinking I might get one anyway. Sick. Oh, wow. Well, well, that's still like. Super cinematic, most cinematic camera I've worked on, I oh, think. Cool. You, if you look at. No, you can see that very well. <laughs> it's <laughs> but, uh, it just looks really nice. It's amazing. Well, we have to do a lot more research into like formats and what codecs we want to record yeah. and things like that. But we're amateurs, but we're going pro, pretty much. Yeah. Right up next, eight mil. Woo! Nice wide angle. Damn! Can't do, wait. Do you want to take that twenty-five off? That one as well. You do that, and I shall open this. Very interesting one. This one, when it's advertised on the website, it's often mostly referred to as a lens for drones. I'm not really sure why, because it's also all like manual controls. You can actually lock, mm. you might lock the focus. And stuff. Maybe people are like hanging off the bottom of the drones, like changing <laughs> the focus. I think a lot of it's to do with because it's such a wide angle. Yeah, so obviously yeah, it doesn't matter. Want wide anyway. angles? Yeah, awesome on drones. Oh, also heavy, quite metallic. Um, and this one wasn't too expensive, right? This one, we actually, um, to buy it in New Zealand from where we bought a lot of this other stuff, it was going to cost about 700 bucks 
I bought it. Give me worry for a second. I thought it was gonna go on. Yeah. I bought it from B and H in New York, and I think it was on special. But then with the, I think it just pops off. Don't break it, please. Um, with like currency conversion, it only ended up being about two eighty, I think, and it was with extra shipping, so it could show up before we recorded this video. Eli's just breaking stuff. Oh, there we go. They actually did a bit of research for this one too. It yeah. actually looks quite nice for a there we go, there. relatively cheap lens. It's a, it almost looks like, I don't know, some sort of vintage or something. It does like look just a the vintage, way yeah. the way it's shaped. Yeah. Interesting. Alright, power the camera up. Let's see how that looks. Power on. Ooh. I keep you might need to check out that ISO a little. It's not too hard to focus really but it looks a thing so this is like 1080 we're shooting in yeah rather cropped um and it's coming up all good like good yeah like from this distance i can shoot you quite clearly that'll be useful in any sort of interesting i reckon this film. looks pretty similar to what the 25 looked with in the 4k mm. without the crop yeah so it's going to be a real wide for the 4K, right? Yeah. So they recommend, I think it's Samsung T5 or something, the little hard drive they recommend. And then you can also get, with the cage thing that's going to open next, there's a special mount you can get for the cage which holds the SD, SSD drive. Oh, awesome. It's really cool. Well, I saw this really cool one online the other day on YouTube. It's, I think it was part of a cage. And it's, oh, no, it was an extra hand, like a handle that you put here. So obviously your hand, you can hold that mm. side. Then you can attach to a cage a handle for this side. Then it had a slot in it that was cut out just the right size for the Samsung SSD. Awesome. So you just drop it in there, yeah. plug it in the bottom. Oh. Cool. And that's the one they recommend, right? Yep. It's not quite fisheye, right? No, that one doesn't. That, that's why I really yeah. want to get this one, because it's almost, it's just outside. And when, yeah. you, when you edit stuff, you can, there is certain stuff you Removal. can do to remove the fisheye. Yeah. I don't know how, I don't know if it's just cropping in or what, but... Whoa, man. That's, that's a really nice <laughs> cool. wide angle though, eh? This is probably super shaky. And it's got audio levels, uh, how, how long you've got left in your card. Light that's, levels? Yeah, that's your histograms, so that's to do with exposure. Yeah, but... You basically oh, want it in the so, center, but... Yeah. Do you want to... Do you want to just bring that camera over? Just take it off the thing and we can just do a little, a little handheld demo. <laughs> so yeah, how do I go back to it? Yeah, so going, you good? Mm, yeah. So that's your normal view. You've got your yeah, frame rate, your shutter angle, which is something I don't entirely understand yet. Uh, ISO, white balance, tint, battery life, audio levels down here. Is it? It's, I think, oh, I did read where it was, but I forgot where it is now. Somewhere on the front there. Your histogram here, which is all to do with your exposure. But yeah, record button there, your two cards. You can put an SD card and a compact flash card in at the same time. I think I already mentioned audio levels. And then, even like all these buttons here, like high frame rate, that literally just jumps you up. Oh, to wow. So 60. if you go, you can have your slow mo presets. Yeah, sort of you, like. yeah, if you want to have a quick little bit of slow mo. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you can actually also change what each of these buttons does. Awesome. And then you've got your battery, all that sort of thing as well, right? Yeah. So if you go, you also got, so yeah, high frame rate for your slow motion, a quick little push in for your. Mm -hmm. How far does it go? I think it's just the, it seems to just be the two, but that's for your focus assist. Playback button. I'm not quite sure what those two do yet, so I'm not going to push them to figure that mm -hmm. out later. But your main menu comes up like this. It's all touch screen as well, and everything just mm -hmm. is what it says it is. So your resolutions, your codecs, Blackmagic, ProRes. I have a feeling, I thought it did. Um, there's another one. There's one that works really well with Premiere Pro, apparently, but I don't know if that's Oh, monitor, yet. audio, setup, presets. Yeah, so then loads. again, that's your... So... What you can do is, because you can output to HDMI, mm. so all this is doing is you're selecting what you see on the screen when you're recording. Yeah. So you've got your grid, you can put all this other stuff on. You have focus assist, you have a zebra, which from memory is to do with exposure. It'll show you, if I put that on, 
down. All right, so you see how on there, that zebra pattern mm -hmm. on the light, that's where it's overexposed because it's really bright. So if you're out, say if you're shooting outside, you'll see like the windows, uh, um, so the windows will be overexposed, things like that. It's just good to sort of measure your exposure. Just let me know if we have cameras. Um, I'm not quite sure what the rest of them do, but you can do the same exact setting for your HDMI output. Choose what you want on on that display and what you don't. Nice. And then uh, there's focus. Oh yeah, focus assist as well. Focus assist level. So that one it shows you. Which one are we going? This would be focus assist. Put it on high red. Oh, did not need to hit record. Don't know how well it's going to show at this. Lens is pretty. Oh, I don't know actually. No, my other one's recording. Oh yeah, so just sit there. Mm. See those bits that are red? Yeah. What does that mean? I think that is what is in focus. So I change that, then you, then it goes a lot more red. So that when it's red, basically is in focus. And obviously, as you go out, Damn. and you lose that. Makes sense. It's just some really good extra. Things to help you out. And then you can do the audio. Which one I want? You can put two audios. Well, I think you can make it so it will record from, say, a camera mounted microphone and the internal mic at the same time. Oh, awesome. That's you great. Can have two different ones. Set up you know, sort of date and time and stuff like that. Sometimes you get a flicker from certain types of lights. So I think you can change that. Cool. So you lose that flicker. And then your presets. You put, also put LUTs in. I don't know if you know what LUTs are. No idea. <laughs> That's like when people do color grading. You put, it's basically preset color grading. You drop a awesome. it stands for a lookup table and it'll change the color. What you can do is load them in here and so you'll see what it looks like through the monitor. And, oh. and you have the option of either... So it'll still record it in RAW? You have the option. You can record yeah. it in RAW or you can record it with that LUT. Awesome. If you want like a real to quickly just export it and do stuff like that. Yeah, that's the main sort of option. Everything else is just the buttons and stuff. ISO, okay. white balance. I'm not sure what that one is yet. Yeah, overall, it's a pretty solid camera. Sure is. Cage time. Cage time. Camera cage. Camera cage. <laughs> this is from Tilter. This one that I read a lot about and it's very highly recommended. You can get... I find it amazing that like a camera is made up of so many different brands kind of thing. Yeah. It's really awesome. So these are helpful because, I mean like the DSLR is when they have the shoe mount on the top, you just mm. slide the microphone on. The Blackmagic doesn't have that, it's just got the screw mount on the top and the bottom. So adding the cage means you can add a lot more stuff to it. Like you get the basic cage and you can put your microphones in that on, but you can also buy other accessories for the cage to mount other things on. And by the looks of it, it all just comes Whoa. in pieces. So this is going to be like building Lego. What's it made out of? This this looks like metal, but it feels so light. I don't actually know. Jeez, it feels quality, yeah. <laughs> yeah, these guys are meant to renovate. I actually was looking on their website the other day. And the amount you can't build your own kit. So wow. You go through each stage on the website, select the bits you want, and it puts awesome. the kit together at the end and you just order the whole thing. So you can get it in a full cage or a half cage. We've got the full cage. You can just get a half cage, which just looks mm. like, I don't know how you think, oh, about that down there. You can't really see that. It just sits over, literally sits over half the camera. So. Oh, I like the color of that metal. Yeah, you can, I think you can get like a, this one, which is like, I think it's like Distressed, or there's a particular name for it that I can't remember. But you can also do just like plain. Mm. Are we putting it together first and then slip the camera in? Correct. I think we do, but it looks like you do the heart, you build the two halves, yeah. which is those two bits, and then you see there in step four, it goes in. camera to get a that's, that's your side bit, that's that one there. That's the base. Oh, this metal's so cool. It feels real high quality, eh? Hey? Yeah, high quality, but so light. It's just great. It's quite a simple thing. Not like putting Lego together. <laughs> you get two Allen keys. There's two different size. And the first half of the cage has got the little screws. I think you're using the smaller one, aren't you? Yeah. And then when you attach the other half to the first half, it uses the big ones. And I think those are also where it 
puts a bit of pressure on the camera so it holds in or does it actually yeah, I was expecting like a plastic cage oh, yeah. well, you can actually, the Allen key actually is locked, locked into the bottom of the other half so you can Sad. keep it if you need to take it out or take it apart during the day that's so clever that's so wow Everyone in this industry is quite clever. It's quite intuitive, actually. You just go like, bam. Just like two screws there. Bam, bam. Oh, so it does actually, so the, the two the screw holes that the camera's already got, top and bottom, that's actually what's used to secure the cage. So you actually bolt into that. Oh, you don't actually use those for anything else. So that's what you use the cage for instead. Wait, you don't. These basically, because you're not going to attach anything to yeah. these except the cage. So those are your two mounting points for the cage, and then the cage itself has got a ton more of them. Mm. <laughs> it's built of them. Look at that screws everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> like I can show you some photos later Whoa. of stuff I looked up. Just... Man, that feels solid as well. Right, Damn. So I've done that half. I'm gonna do the other half. I think that one in your right hand is your side bit. That's that piece there. That goes no, that way. Yeah. And then that. So that goes in there. Added this one. That goes uh, that way. It cool. Slides in there. There you go, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. It's amazing that they have to build one of these for every camera, like a cage for the different types. Yeah, you go on that. Someone's like put so much thought into it. You go on the Tilter's website and you sort of select your camera and you do all this other stuff. And so it's like a make your own frozen yogurt. But Pretty much, or like a build a bear or something. <laughs> you select all the components, or you select your camera and all the extra components you want, and you can, there's like a million add ons you can get. Damn, it just lines up itself. Oh, oh. No. oh just don't lose stuff and also don't knock yourself out. Maybe we should find it with the vacuum. That is a terrible idea. <laughs> no, right, now you need to See. attach it to the first half. Don't we put the camera? Oh, no. Nope. See? It slides in afterwards. So we'll just go like that. And you see it, so yeah. those tend to come out and that top one needs to come out. Oh, and, and it's magnetic. Good. Damn. Hey. Too good. Ooh. Oh, I should put I'm just gonna take that one out. See. And this one goes through the top into the camera. Oh yeah, that's right. It's a whole different place. It talks about here, you got all the different mounting ports can be on the bottom of the cage can be adapted to any gimbal or gimbal or mounting accessory. Sick. Cage is just open up the world. We have to edit down this build quite a lot. This video is mm. going to be like an hour long. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to watch that. When that being said, we did watch a 50 minute video last night. Yeah, but that was an eye dubbed video. It was great. It was. Entertaining the whole way through. Mm. I dubs and what was his name? Yes, off Fatty. Yes, off Fatty. Chris and his unique bunch of friends. <laughs> Especially mm. old was it Brendan? Brendan? Oh, Is that his name? The guy know. at the end. Yeah, jeez. Yeah, Crazy lightsaber battles. We good? Yeah. All right. So I think that on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Do you want to? I think that, see that actually slots in there, I think. Oh nice, so they've just put it on like this. Yeah, just put it there out. so it's not an extra piece that's floating around. I'll just move this down here so I can actually see it. Dun, dun, dun. Oh nice. Do 
Let's just, just put that in loosely for now. Like, don't tighten it up. Just like just screw it in a little bit, just so it actually it's sort of held in, but not. Drop that in there. Sky still give you access to like, the battery port and um, SD cards and stuff. Thank you for selecting black magic design for your work. I just imagine like, getting into DaVinci Resolve. Mm. I can't decide if I want to just start using this instead of paying for my. This is like a. Five hundred dollar piece of software, whereas I pay like a monthly subscription for Premiere Pro. So I'm like, do I want to just stop paying that? And I think I still got it for the rest of the year anyway, because you have to sign up for a year. Yeah, sweet. There you go. With the cage, Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K with a tilter full cage. And an SLR Magic 8mm lens. Shut it off to that side. Set. Should we put it on the desk and grab some Take six some shots, shots of it? Yeah. Right, cut to that, shall we? <laughs> of the black magic pocket cinema camera 4k Whoa. <laughs> honestly just especially with that cage on it, it just looks incredible yeah time to make some movies yeah. eh? <laughs> that's all i got time for i'm gonna go film some stuff now thanks for helping out man oh good far your awesome technical skills putting everything together <laughs> all right let's go shoot something yeah.